Yeah, good afternoon. Can you all hear me? Yes, sir. Okay, then uh, let's see uh, another two, three minutes. Uh, I think there are <clears throat> right now uh, only 50 students are joining to the meeting. So how many students are in your batch around? 150? So it's, it's better to uh, rename your profile name by your registration number, right? So please uh, rename your profile name uh, by your registration number or index number, right? Yeah, around 160, no? Okay, so then uh, let's wait uh, two, three minutes. So, so now right uh, 71, no? Okay, uh, this module is uh, <clears throat> web development and uh, uh, programming languages. So basically, we uh, discuss the uh, web development and the some other languages. So uh, the first part is uh, introduction to web development, right? Okay, uh, the first of all, uh, uh, we have to know about uh, some basic concepts uh, behind the computer network. So we can uh, study uh, these things uh, deep uh, under the communication networks module. Right. Uh, as you know, uh, what is computer network? Any idea? Yes. Okay. Uh, basically, a computer network means uh, uh, we call the computer or uh, related devices to the computer. Right. So it may be a printer or it may be a, a IP phone. So uh, likewise, a computer and the related devices are connected or we call interconnected to a communication channel so that they can facilitate uh, communicate between them, right? So what is the computer network? Computer network means uh, computers or related devices are interconnected so that they can communicate so that they can communicate I think uh, I think uh, who is NM Fasan please uh, mute your mic right okay now uh, I think uh, is it okay what about others yeah yes sir okay okay, okay. So, so why do we need a computer network? 
the purpose behind the uh, computer network or uh, what is the requirement of computer network. So basically the requirement of the computer network is resource sharing. All right. So share data and the resources. So that is the basic requirement behind the computer network. So, uh, so this is the one of the uh, layout or an example for the computer network. So here you can see uh, these uh, uh, computers and then laptops are there, the network printers and servers, right? So, and then some wireless devices, all those devices are connected to uh, one particular network so that they can communicate each other, right? And then this particular network can be uh, connected to the internet through the <coughs> network channel, right? Okay, so uh, then next one is uh, uh, there's an architecture called client server architecture. So what is a client server server architecture, right? So in this architecture, there are two type of uh, computers, right? So first one is called client, the next one is called server, right? So let's take one by one. So basically, uh, uh, client means the always uh, request serves from the server, right? So a client client can request. So uh, there are a number of services. They can request a page or they can request for the data or it may be a file, right? So likewise, client can request services from the server, right? So if it is web page, uh, it should be a web server, right? So if it is a, a file request from the client, now we have to request from the file server. Likewise, so depending on the request, uh, uh, the server is different, right? So the other one is server. Server is respond to the uh, uh, client request, right? So we call uh, all less response, or we call serve, serve the uh, uh, client request, right? So server can serve web pages, that means to provide web page or provide the uh, data files or uh, files which is requested by the client, right? So there may be a uh, uh, different kind of request from the clients. And according to the client request, server can respond. So we call it server can uh, 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 serve, right? Okay. Then next one is the protocol. So as you know, uh, what is meant by protocol? What is protocol? Okay. Any idea? What is protocol? Anyone? Now you can actually, uh, when I ask question, uh, you can uh, just... Uh, on your mic and then uh, uh, with the answer, right? As you know, what is protocol? Yes. Anyone? Uh, can you raise your hand? Uh, raise put the raise signal. Those who follow IT or the ICT for the O level examination. Anyone? Nobody follow ICT as a subject for the oh, there are a number of people. That means uh, you have follow <laughs> ICT as a subject, right? Okay, then uh, what is the protocol? Uh, there are 20, around 20 participants. Raise your hand. That means they have fo followed the ICT as a subject, sir, for the uh, all of it. Okay, as you know, what is protocol? Any idea? So, uh, I'll give you uh, some kind of uh, example, not the example, analogy, right? So, if I want to send a letter, right, to the post mail, so what are the steps that I have to follow? I want to send a letter through the post mail, right? So what are the uh, uh, steps that I have to follow? Yes, first of all, I have one, one student say set of rules. Yeah, that's correct, right? So I'll come to the other uh, network protocol. Basically protocol means, so according to my example, right? So if I want to uh, send a uh, letter through the post mail, I have to put that letter into the envelope and then I have to write the, uh, what you call, uh, here I have to write the uh, uh, sender's address 
as well as the receiver's address. So basically, we write the receiver's address in right hand bottom corner and the sender's address in left hand bottom corner. Right. In the right hand top corner, we have to <clears throat> paste the some kind of uh, say stamps. Right. So likewise, we have to follow a set of rules. Right. So we have to follow the set of rules. Right. So if you want to follow a set of rules in that case, right. So we can't uh, what you call violate those rules. Likewise, in computer network, right. So if you want to do a particular thing, there are a special set of rules that are specified interaction between the communicating entity, right? That means if you want to do a particular thing, there are a set of rules to follow, right? Then those are called protocol. Then the protocol means set of rules, right? Set of rules uh, uh, which are defined to perform particular task, right? So, for example, if you want to transfer uh, uh, hypertext, if you want to transfer web page from a server machine to the client machine, then there is a there are a set of rules, right, which are defined to do that particular task. So that is called protocol, right? In that case, that means uh, if you want to transfer web page from server to client, there is a protocol called called HTTP, right? HTTP means actually abbreviation. HTTP means the hypertext transfer protocol, all right? So then in here, what they have defined, they define how distributing messages are formatted and transmitted, right? So that's what defined behind the HTTP protocol, right? So that means that those are the set of rules for transferring web pages, right? So <clears throat> that is example for protocol then simply we can say protocol is set of rules, right? Okay, then the next one is the internet. So how can we define the term called the internet? Yes, what is the internet? So follow ICT as a subject, what is the internet? So if you ask to define the term called the internet, how can we define the term internet? The yes. collection of networks Sorry? The collection of networks. Yeah. Now you know what is network. Computer network means uh, computers or related devices are interconnected so that they can communicate with each other. That is network, right? So the internet means, so basically we call uh, <coughs> networks of networks, right? That means they may can consist of there, there may be some private networks, the public networks, it may be the of the academic networks like university and connect, uh, connect <clears throat> and uh, within the internet, there may be some uh, government network likewise. So there are some separate, separate computer networks, right? So all those separate networks are connected together as a one particular network, then we call that is the internet. Right. So actually, the <clears throat> there can be only one that type of network. So that's why we use the term called the the internet. Right. So we can we cannot have uh, two internets. Right. So because if you connect all the network to the one particular single network, we call that is the internet. Right. So within the internet, there may be some separate kind of or the different kind of networks, private, public, likewise. Right. So. In other words, we call the global system of interconnected computer network. So globally, right? Globally connect all the networks into one particular network, right? So in order to, uh, so when you connect a different kind of networks, right? So for example, in here, in your city network, we use, uh, say, in, in, in our level, we use, uh, uh, say, different kind of protocols, right? So in other uh, private networks, they use their uh, own, protocols but if you use like that there may be some uh, uh, problem because we use the, uh, a set of rules according to the our entity right so if you take another say government network they use a different kind of protocols then when you connect that government network to the university network we can't what you call exchange the data right because uh, uh, these two parties uh, have different kind of uh, protocols, right? So therefore, to use the internet protocol soon, so there is a common 
uh, protocol called uh, protocol suit, right? So that is called TCP IP, right? To communicate between networks and the devices. So there is a, a particular standard that is called TCP IP, right? So actually you can study these things uh, uh, later, right? Okay, then I'll come to the topic called the website. So that's what we are going to study in this module. So what is website? How can we define the term website? Yes. How can we define the term called the website? Oh, what is website? Yes. Any answer? Website. How can we define the term website? No answers. Yes, one says uh, a collection of different web pages. Yeah, collection of different web pages. What else? That is correct, right? That is partially correct. Others, collection of a set of related web pages located under a single domain name. Uh, there's another term called domain. Okay, we will discuss. Others, yeah. <clears throat> so simply, we can say a, a website is a collection of related web page. That answer is was there, right? It's, okay. So, because uh, when you uh, uh, take the collection of web pages, right, there should be some kind of relationship, right? So, for example, so say one particular uh, web page. Uh, consist of uh, say information about the students then the other web page uh, consist of the information about say uh, say uh, employers right so likewise so if you have two different web pages those two uh, uh, web page cannot be uh, under one particular uh, uh, entity right so website is collection of related web pages there should be some kind of relationship between the uh, web pages right so if you take the website so there should be a, a index page or we call home page which is the first page of the website and then it may be uh, <coughs> uh contains the individual documents so we call the web documents right so likewise right okay then <clears throat> actually the web page is document right so which is uh, commonly written in uh, we call hypertext markup language, right? So that is the web page <coughs> uh, development language. We call HTML, right? That's the abbreviation. That is hypertext markup language, right? The web page contains, you know, text, uh, graphics, and then the other audio, videos, right? So, and then some links to the other web pages. Likewise, there are many more things inside the web page, right? So, it is accessible to the internet or through the network, right? So it can be accessed through the uh, uh, web browser software, we call the browsers, right? So, and the web page is accessed by entering, uh, we call URL. URL means uniform resource locator, right? So URL is the address of the worldwide web page, right? So you know what is HTML? So there is a, a notation for describing a web page a structure, we call document structure, and which facilitate to format in the web page, right? We call the markup, right? Okay. Then uh, uh, we had a term called the uniform resource locator or URL. As you know, what is URL? How can we define the term called URL? Yeah, one said that uh, uh, domain name. So what is the URL? Yeah, web addresses. One answer called a web addresses. Others? An address for a website. Yeah, that is also correct. What else? Others? Yeah, are there any different answers? One called a web address, the other one called an address for a website. What about others? Is this correct? Or do you have any different answers? Web address, unique 
correctly identify the various resources in websites. Yeah. A link to connect web page. I think behind these answers, the uh, what you call the idea is there, right? So basically, a web address or URL is the reference, is reference to a web resource, right? So especially we use the web resource because, so uh, there may be some, as I said earlier, the web page contains a, a video, it may be an audio, or it may be an image, right? So if you take those things, we call those uh, uh, resources. We call the web resources. So web address is the reference, right? So that is reference to a web resource. So web resource may be, it may be a web page or it may be an audio file or it may be a, a video file, right? So when you, you should download a particular film, film that is an old video file. So that should uh, have a reference, right? So within the internet, right? So web address is reference to the web page or the web, sorry, web resource, right? So we don't use the web page. Right? So web page is also an, uh, also a web resource. We use the term called web resource, right? So the URL specify its location on the computer network, right? And there's a mechanism for retrieve it, right? So actually web address is a reference to the web resource and the web resource by the URL itself specify the location on the computer network. Right, so it is specify location of the web resource within the computer network, right? And so, for example, this is a, a typical URL, right? So it could have the form this. So this is the form. So this is the format, right? So this is the uh, uh, home page of the uh, our university uh, website, right? So so here we can take one by one. So there are a number of components, right? So what is this HTTPS? Yes. Can you explain what are the components which are inside the URL? What are the components? Yeah, one says uh, hypertext. Yeah, HTTPS means actually that is hypertext transfer protocol. This is a secure hypertext transfer protocol, right? So, okay, then uh, what are the other components? What else? Yes, this is called protocol. HTTPS means protocol. And then, yeah, next one is called so here www.pdn.ac.lk means that is the host name, right? So this is a file name. We call this the resource, right? So this is called host name or we call domain name, both are correct, right? And this is a, a protocol. And uh, this is the file name or we call this the resource name, right? So it may be, a, so in this case, this is the resource, a web page that is the resource, right? In some cases, there may be some image likewise, right? Okay, so then next one is www World Wide Web. So how can we define the term www? Yes, how can we define the term called World Wide Web or www? Yes, anyone? A service of the internet. Yeah, that is one answer. This is the service of the uh, internet. Yeah. What about others? Yes. Any answer?
main internet provider. Yes. Others? Yes. <clears throat> Actually, the World Wide Web is a service. That's good, right? So this is a service of internet. So this is one of the services offered by the internet, right? And on the other hand, we call this is uh, information space, right? And so uh, information space means, so this is a uh, collection of uh, our web pages and the other web resources, right? So all the resources are identified by the URL. You know that, right? So web browser should be used to access the web page. So through the web browser, we can access the web page, right? So World Wide Web is the main service provided by the internet, right? So this is the main service provided by the internet, right? Okay, so that's about the www. So as you know, how the web works. So basically, we call the www worldwide web use the uh, uh, say classical client server architecture, right? So in here, HTTP is the text based request response protocol, right? That means the uh, client request web page from the server, and then web server uh, provide the a uh, service to the client, right? So client can uh, request the web pages, right? And the client can uh, access the web page through the web browser, right? So in order to access the web page, the client should have the web browser. So in the server side, the server, uh, what you call the host, right? So server, so inside the server, we can store the websites. Right, so in order to store the websites, we need the web server software, right? So like uh, there are a number of web servers, right? So we call the Apache, IIS, Tomcat, likewise, there are a number of uh, web server software, right? So by using those software, we can uh, store the websites inside the server computer. Right? So in here, the client request web page from the server, then according to the client request, the server provide the response, right? So in order to access web page through the uh, web browser, there's a protocol called HTTP, right? So uh, through the web browser, client can access web page, the server serve uh, services according to the client request, right? Okay, then now we are going to study how to create web pages right so html or a hypertext transfer uh, hypertext transfer uh, <clears throat> markup language uh, is a file with the file extension called .htm or .html right so hypertext markup language basically uh, are used to create web pages Right, so in order to create web pages, we can have a text editors. Right, so there are a number of text editors, right? Not bad, uh, not bad. Plus, plus, likewise, there are a number of text editors. Right, so we can use either uh, text editor. At the same time, we have some uh, tools. Right, so like the front page or the Dreamweaver. Right, oh, there are a number of tools. Right, so even we can use the MS Word as well. Right, okay. So as I said earlier, HTML describes the structure of the web page. And the HTML consists of a series of elements, right? So those elements represented by tags, right? And the markup tags provide information about the web page content, right? So the web browser render the web page using the HTML tags, right? Okay, now uh, let's see what are the HTML tags. Actually, HTML tag uh, are the keywords or surrounded by the anchor bracket. Actually, anchor bracket means the uh, we should use the less than and greater than signs, right? So uh, this is the uh, <clears throat> typical format for the uh, HTML tag, right? So we can have HTML tag uh, within the this anchor bracket, right? And then uh, the first tag is in the pair is called start tag. And the second tag is called end tag, 
right? So the end tag is written like uh, a star tag, but with the slash before the uh, tag name, right? So we have to put the slash before the tag name, right? So both are same, but uh, the end tag is slightly different from the uh, starting tag, right? So an HTML element that consists of opening tag and a closing tag uh, and the content inside. So in between the opening and con uh, closing tag, we can have a content, right? So we call this content, right? So uh, HTML elements whose content is empty, then they don't have a closing tag, right? So if the content is empty, then they don't have a closing tags, right? Okay, then let's see uh, what's the HTML structure. Right. So actually, HTML is a compromise of text. Right. So begin with the HTML and end with the slash HTML because this is the opening text, this is the closing text. And HTML describes the structure using two main sections. We call the header section and the body section. Right. So the tags are nested one inside another. So I'll explain what is this nested concept. Right. In here, so here you can see. So uh, here uh, uh, we open the head tag and close the head tag, right? So in between opening and closing head tag, so we cannot open another tag which is closed uh, after the head tag, right? So that means once if you open the head tag, so then there should be a probably a, a closing tag. So in between opening and closing head tag, so once if you start another tag between these two, we have to close that tag before closing the header tag. So that's what we call uh, nested, right? So for example, so in here, after the opening header tag, once if you start another tag called say title, then before head tag close, we have to close the title tag. That's it, right? That is called nested, right? So let's see in, uh, examples, right? Okay, then next one is HTML code formatting. So in here, the HTML source code should be formatted to increase the readability, right? So for example, you should we keep tab space between uh, the, all the tabs, right? So every block element should start in a new line, right? So what are the block elements? So I'll explain later. So uh, every block element should start on a new line and every nested element should be intent. So we should use the tab space. And the browser usually ignore so the uh, browser usually ignore the multiple white space in the web page. So the formatting is plus, right? Okay. So this is the first, first page that I am going to create at the beginning. So uh, in here, the first tag we call the root tag. Right, so this is the uh, tag which define the document type, right? So which will help the browser to display the web page uh, properly, right? So this is called root tag, root tag, right? So here this tab define the web page, uh, which will help to the web browser to uh, properly uh, render the web page, right? And then next one, this HTML opening tag, right? Uh, so this is what we call this is a root element of the web page, right? So this is the first tag. So this is the root element, and so this is the header section. Well, this is the header section. So inside the header section, we can have the titles and then uh, information about the author, right? So those tags can be included within the header tag, right? So in addition to that, we can have the scripting tag and then the style sheet tag. All those tags can be included within the header section, right? So we should provide extra information about the document, right? So we call a meta information, right? And serving as a container for sections such as say styles and the scripts, right? So all those uh, 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 scripts or the styles can be included within the header section, right? So that's about the HTML header. And then uh, in here, so actually, so this is called title of the web page. So this is the opening tag of the title. And then this is the closing tag of the title. So in between opening and closing tag, we can have a content, 
okay then next section next section is the body section we call this is the body section so this is the uh, a section which provide the visible content of the web page right so this is actually a content of the web page right so inside the body section we can have uh content of the web page right okay then uh, next one is paragraph so before come to the paragraphs I'll, I'll, I'll create a basic web page right okay uh, <clears throat> Okay, uh, can you see my desktop? Is it okay? Can you see my screen? Yes, yes sir. sir. Okay, then uh, there are two text editors that I have. So first one is Notepad++. So for the time being, I use Notepad++. Even you can use the Notepad as well, right? Okay, I think uh, when you come to the practical uh, class, you can have the Notepad++ plus plus or a Notepad. So any text editor, right? So if you want, you can use the Notepad as well, right? So in here, right? So first tag. So what is the first tag? First tag is uh, document type. So I say document type is HTML. So then I start the HTML. HTML tag. So this is the opening tag. So at the same time, I insert the closing tag as well, right? And then I save this one, go to file, save as, you know this, right? So in desktop, uh, I create a folder called say H1 or not one. So this is the uh, day one. So inside the root folder, I create say day one subfolder. Okay. So this is my first web page. See, I said first dot HTML. Right, first dot HTML. So this is how we uh, set the uh, file name, right? First dot HTML. The file name, the web page name with the proper extension. Extension is HTML, right? Okay. So, so as I said earlier, right? So there are uh, two sections. So we call uh, header section and footer section. So this is the block element. So uh, I have to keep some indent. Right, so in here, so this is body section. Body, sorry, body section. So here, I'll insert the close tag of the body section. So this is the general format of the web page, right? Is it okay? Is it clear? Yes, sir. What about others? Is it clear? Yes, sir. Okay. So then within the header section, we can in include some uh, extra uh, information about the web page. So as I said earlier, so here uh, he within the head section, so inside the headers, header section, we can insert some information about a web page. Right. So in here, I insert, say, a title. Say title. Right. Let's see, uh, this is for your faculty. So I say faculty of applied health science. And then I close the title tag, right? Okay, then I save this. So within the body section, we can include some content. So I save this and go to the my uh, folder, right? So it's the uh, desktop. I have this desktop one. Okay, so this is my first uh, uh, web page. So actually, this is the first dot HTML. Now you can see here. Yeah. So this is my uh, this is my web page. This one. So in the web page, you can have uh, this within this tab. You can have the uh, title what we have set, right? So this is the type title that we have set. Faculty of Allied Health Science, right? So you can find the title of the web page in here. Right, so this is information about the web page, right? Okay, then I minimize this and then I continue editing, right? So uh, that's about the basic web page that we have, right? And the next one is paragraph formatting, right? So how can you do the 
paragraph formatting, right? So in order to insert the paragraph, there is a tag called paragraph tag, right? So this is the paragraph tab, right? So basically we can start the paragraph tab uh, within the uh, anchor record and then the word is P. The actually the paragraph P represent the paragraph and then this is the closing tag of the paragraph, right? So in paragraphs in HTML act much like the paragraphs in the MS Word or the word processing applications, right? Similarly, uh, uh, the paragraphs available in HTML. And the HTML is automatically add an extra blank line before and after the paragraph. So once you add a, insert the paragraph into the HTML file, right? So HTML automatically add extra blank line before and after the paragraph, right? So let's see, right? So what is this, right? So this is the uh, uh, example for the paragraph, right? Okay, then let's uh, try to insert paragraph to the, our web page, right? Just I uh, create some uh, paragraphs, right? So I'll take say several paragraphs from the uh, internet, right? So just I say, uh, I'll create two, three paragraphs, right? So I just said, take two paragraphs, right? Okay, then uh, I'll copy the first paragraph, right? And then, so this is my uh, source code. So this is my web page. So I insert paragraph using the paragraph tag, right? And here I type the paragraph. So this is the closing tag of the paragraph. Then I save this again because I made some modification. And then if you already open this web page, right? Just do what you have to do, you can repress the web page, right? So here, so uh, this is my web page, which has been already uh, opened. So then what do you have to do? I have to refresh by using this refresh button or just use the F5. Right now, you can see. Uh, so, this is the paragraph that I have inserted. Right, so this is one paragraph. If you want, you can insert another paragraph. So, I'll create a paragraph like this P, and here we can close the paragraph. Right, into this opening and closing text, we can insert the paragraph. Right, so I have another paragraph. So I insert that paragraph into here. So likewise in here, I have two paragraphs. So if you go to the web page and refresh this, right now you can see there are two paragraphs. So, so please mute your mic, uh, PCY002. <laughs> Who is uh, PCY002? Please mute your mic. Okay, now uh, how can we, uh, what you call, uh, differentiate these uh, paragraphs? Here, now you can see, right? So, as I said earlier, Right, so in presentation called HTML automatically add an extra blank line before and after the paragraph. You can see, right? So before the paragraph, so before this paragraph, HTML insert some extra line, and after the paragraph, HTML again insert uh, empty or insert uh, empty line. So the second paragraph, you can see, right? So before the second paragraph, there are six uh, extra uh, empty space. Right, so likewise, uh, HTML automatically add an extra blank line before and after the paragraph, right? Okay, so that's about the paragraph. And the next one is headings. So what is the purpose of heading? Why do you use this concept called heading? Hmm? What is the purpose of heading, as you know? What is the purpose of heading? So actually, so if you want to insert a topic, topic or we call heading to the 
uh, paragraph or to the uh, web page so you can you, we can have this default heading right so there are a number of tags right so h1 to h6 right which can be used to insert heading in our paragraph right so for example in my source code i can insert heading before the paragraph like this right so there are six levels so first level is h1 right so i'll set a unit of parallel like this then close the heading tag say h1 and i save this then go to there and then refresh now you can see this is inserted as a heading right so if you use the h2 level h2 level that is subheading so for example in here let's say it here i use a h2 tag so here if i use h2 tag so this is subheading right say uh, faculty of a light health sciences so this is level two then i close the head into and come to the web page and refresh right so these are the headings right so again if you want you can use a, a, another level let's say st So here I insert another subheading like this. So then come to the page and refresh like this. Have you got it? Uh, yes, sir. Others, is it okay? Yes or no? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay, uh, so so that's about the heading so that's about the heading okay the next one is uh, actually so we discussed the heading so uh, basically we can use this uh, uh, level one level two all the headings including the paragraph so that's about the introduction part right that's about the introduction part uh, next one is some uh, basic concepts behind the uh, uh, html right So, yeah. So, what are the basics in HTML? Okay. Now, can you see this uh, screen? This presentation? Is it okay? Yes, sir. Okay. So, okay. We discussed this. Uh, this is the structure of the HTML. By the way, do you want time to uh, take down this, uh, at least this uh, important things? Yes, sir. Okay, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll upload the earlier notes. So, so this is the structure of the HTML. Just take down this one. So this is the basic structure of this HTML. So if you ask to create a basic structure of the HTML, you have to create this file, right? Okay, take down quickly. Okay, I'll upload this, but uh, I think it's better to take down. Otherwise, uh, so you have a written exam as well, right? So once if you take down these things uh, during the uh, explanation, so it will be easy to memorize, right? So, okay. So this is the basic structure, right? So so this is the example. So no need to worry about this example, right? So because you have a practical session, you can create this web page. That's what you want. So it's what you call the basic uh, concepts right okay so the next one is attributes so as you know what is meant by attribute so what is the purpose of attribute in generally as you know what is attribute before come to the html attribute what is attribute yes what is attribute
Yes, attributes, actually HTML elements can have attributes. So what is attribute? Attributes provide some additional information about an element, right? So let's see. So for example, so attributes are always specified in a start tag, right? So when you specify the uh, uh, particular information about the HTML element, so as I said earlier, there are uh, actually the HTML tags, some HTML tags are a pair, right? Pair. Pair means that, uh, which can exist a uh, start in tag and close in tag, right? So if you want to insert attribute to the HTML element, so basically we include this attribute within the start tag of the HTML element, right? So attributes come with a name and value pair. So if you have a particular attribute, you have to have value. Like, so for example, so if you are if you are asked to describe yourself, right? So you may use some, uh, what you call attributes. You may use some, uh, we call uh, parameters. So if you are asked to describe yourself, you may say, my name is this. I am, say, 20 years in old, right? So I am from something. Right. So my school is this, right? So those are attributes, right? So if you use the attribute, so you have to have a value for that attribute. Otherwise, that is meaningless, right? So if I say I am, then you have to say my name is something like, right? So, so you have to assign particular value to the attribute, right? So attribute comes the pair, the name of the attribute and the value, right? Okay, so for example, if you want to set the background color for the HTML web page, we can have attribute called BG color. And then if you want to use the BG color attribute, you have to set the value. You say yellow, say green, likewise, right? So what are the attributes in paragraphs? So you know, when you insert paragraph into the, say in word processing software, right? So we can align the paragraph. Right, so we can have say center line or left align, right align, or you can justify. Likewise, we can have a, uh, we have an attribute called align, right? So there's attribute called align in paragraph ten. So we can align left, right, center, justify, right? So for example, if you want to justify the paragraph, we can have an attribute called align within the starting tag of the paragraph, and we have to set the value, right? So let's see, right? So uh, in earlier, earlier I used this source code, right? So this is source code. So this is my web page, right? So this is my web page. So this is the source code, right? Okay. So now you can see these paragraphs are not uh, uh, clearly uh, aligned. So by default, these are aligned to the left side, right? So inside the paragraph tag, inside the paragraph tag, I can have an attribute called align, align. Then by default, this is left align. So if I set left, right, and then say oh, refresh, there is no changes because this is the default alignment. But if I say uh, right, if I say right and refresh, now you can see this paragraph is aligned to the right side. Likewise, we can align uh, this right, left, center, likewise. So for example, if I want to justify, so I can use a value called justify. Now you can see this paragraph is justified in alignment. So likewise, if you use the attribute called align, we can set value, right? We can set the value like this, right? Okay, the next one is the manual break. So how do you use the manual break? So there is a tag called BR, so which will insert a line break into the web page, all right? So if you use the line break, so it should be moved to the next line Right, so it will be identified by the web browser, right? So, for example, if you use the enter key in Word document, which will be moved to the next line, right? So this is called manual break. So, for example, in our uh, web page, right? So this is my web page. So in here onwards, we can uh, uh, here, right? So from here, we can insert a manual break, right? So for example, so this is that word, right? So we can use a manual break in this word called word, right? So there is a word called word, right? So for example, uh, let's see, I, I want to uh, set the manual break in here, right, in here, right? So if I want to uh, set insert manual break in here, 
here we can have the tag called br br save this and refresh now you can see right so in here one not so in earlier now in here one not move to the next line right so this is called manual break now you can see right so this is called in here these two tags are pair so this is the starting tag so this is closing tag right but in here the tag like br we don't have the uh, pair we don't have uh, that uh, pair right so instead of that we have only one particular tag right so this are so this is one tag in here we don't have uh, a pair right so there are tags like this right and the next one the pre formatted tag right pre formatted means we can uh, do the formatting in the text document so that the that formatting is applied to the web page right so we can have this uh, pre tag and then we can format uh, the text as you wish within the notepad or within the text editor right okay the next one is list right okay uh, have you got the things so did you understand the things that we have discussed so far is it okay or is there any uh, problem let me know do you have any problem so have you got the things that you that, that we discussed up to now did you understand oh no uh, yes sir what about others yes okay okay uh by the way do you need uh, do you want some break around three o'clock yes or no you don't need nobody responds means you don't need break right okay uh so when you come to the uh, faculty when around september 10th september 10th maybe okay. sir okay maybe september 10th means uh, then you will have this uh, practical sessions after commence your uh, your physical lectures right so then uh, let's do these things at the practical right so then it could be useful right so it will be uh, effective right okay anyway <clears throat> Uh, next one is actually in the practical session i'll uh, prepare some exercises so that you can apply this concept or apply uh, this uh, you can use this uh, 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 things you can create web pages by using these tags right so that's so wrong right okay so next one is list right so there are three kind of lists so we call ordered list unordered list and definition list right okay we'll take one by one so first one is ordered list so what's meant by ordered list? Ordered list means ordered list means actually the list contains list items, right? So in, in the ordered list, those items are in a proper order. Or those items are in a defined order, right? So for example, so uh, in here, list whose elements must appear in a certain order, right? So in each ordered list, encapsulated in ordered list tag, ordered list, the tag is OL, O from ordered, L from list. And each item within the list encapsulated in a list item tag, or we call LI, list item, right? So if you want to uh, uh, say, uh, put an order, say Peradini is one, unit of column is two, unit of order two is three. So we can insert these items into the ordered list. So let's see, right? So I'll create uh, another web page, right? So I'll take new page, new file. And here I create, say, uh, you know, first tag is uh, document definition, doc type, right? So type is a uh, HTML, right? And here I use the uh, root tag of the HTML, right? And here I close the HTML, right? So in here, the header section right so this is the uh, closing pack of the header section right so actually this is the basic structure of the web page right basic structure of the web page 
okay and i save this on a say uh, list right so i save this on as list say order list right so uh, say list one dot html right so this is how we uh, assign the file name right list one dot html so this is the file name list one so this is the uh, file extension html right okay then save this right and within the header section i said the title title or the title so this is ordered list right and close the title save this and inside the body section i can have a, a ordered list so i'll set a, a heading called say university or say we um, Sri Lankan University and close in the header tag and then I insert the ordered list ordered list starting from OL tag and close in the uh, ordered list tag right and then here I insert the list item list item so at the same time I so it's better to use the opening and closing tag at once right so then uh, uh, there is no mistake right and then, uh, so this is the first list item, right? So I use say university. So this is the first list item, right? So then I keep some tab space and insert next list item in your city of say Colombo, all right? Close in the list item. So here, Next list item, then the city of to close in the list item. So I save this one as a list one dot HTML. So then I go to the uh, day one folder and double click on this file till we open. Now you can see these items are in particular order, right? So this is called ordered list. Right. So likewise, we can insert any number of uh, list items. So for example, like uh, for my, so easily I copy this uh, monitor, say over, likewise, just you can insert this, right? So say, likewise, I can insert any number of items within the opening and closing uh, ordered list tag, right? Like this, right? Say, Kalania, right? Say uh, Jeffna, right? Like this. Then go to there and refresh, right? Then uh, modification has been uh, rendered, right? Okay. So likewise, we can insert the list items. So list items. So this is ordered list, which means the uh, items or the elements which uh, must appear in a certain order, right? So we call this list item, right? So in here, the ordered list, so actually order of the item can be specified in the numerical number system, right? So by default, this number system is uh, Arabic number system, right? You can have Arabic number system. So if you want, uh, there's an attribute called type, there's an attribute called type. So by assigning the uh, style of the number system, we can change this uh, numeric system. Right. So, for example, if you want a numeric, uh, the, so what you call the Arabic number system, the type type is one. If you set a uh, type as uh, say uppercase A, so this is the numbering system, right? A B C in uppercase. So, if you use a uh, uh, lowercase A, so these are the numbering style, lowercase. So, if you use uh, capital I, so that is the capital Roman, and then this is the uh, lowercase roman so likewise we can use uh, any number system by using the attribute called type right so for example in here so by default type is roman number system right so if you want you can use other number system as well so for example so this is the default one say type so this is the default number system one so this is the default number system I paste this so if you use say uppercase e Right, so they use the English 
upper case letters to number in this items like this if you use a lower case letters right like this so this is the numbering system right so if you use a upper case i so this is the numbering system like this so if you use this simple line so this is the numbering system so likewise so here uh, we can change the numbering system right have you got this did you understand hello yes sir yes sir okay so that's about the ordered list that's about the ordered list similarly we can have an unordered list as well right so similar but unordered list right so these are the numbered system and then next next one is unordered list unordered list means the list whose elements can appear in any order right so each unordered list encapsulated with the tag called unordered list ul unordered list right so each item within the list encapsulated list item we call li right so just we have to change the uh, what you call the tag ol right so i save this one as a list 2 so i use the same source code list 2 right so instead of ol we can use ul u means unordered list right so list items are same right so here then i delete this save this right now i change this file name as a list 2 so therefore i access the list 2.html file now you can see right now these items are not numbered right in here so actually this uh, actually this appears as a bullet list so this uh, shape or this uh, uh, bullet item can be changed right so the item can be listed using bullets right then the bullet type can be defined as you wish right so there is attribute called type so default type is disk right so this is the default type so that is the disk type right so this is the default type so if you want you can change this disk type right so you can change this disk type right so default type is disk right so if you want you can change as a circle or if you can you can change as a square right likewise you can change this uh, bullet type right so there's attribute called type so you can use type attribute to change this uh, bullet types right so again you can have say type right so by default this is a disk right so by default this type is disk so this is this type so if you want you can say a square right so if you want you can say a square so and then if you want you can say circle like this circle square likewise we can set uh, bullet types right is it okay have you got it yes sir okay then next one the bullet type uh, next type is called a uh, definition list so we can create the definition list d by using the tag called dl definition list so this is something uh, similar to the uh, earlier this uh, the <coughs> ol and ul right but there is a, there's small uh, difference right so in here there are several tags we call uh, who is drawing here i share this right okay so uh, here Okay, so uh, here, uh, what is the difference between ordered list and unordered, ordered, unordered uh, between this de uh, definition list, right? So in here, there are three tags. The, fun is, uh, the first one is the definition list tag. And then next one is the, what is the definition term? And then we have a, a definition, data definition, right? So this is how we do, do this, right? So. First of all, we have to insert the definition list. So there are a list of definitions. Then we can use the, what is the definition term, right? Definition term, right? And then we can have a definition, right? Okay, let's see. Okay, then I use the same uh, uh, file, right? Then I save this and I say list three, right? So this is the definition list, right? So I use say definition list, definition. 
right definition so here uh, we can use the uh, definition right so definition yeah definition definition list uh, we can define the terms so what are the terms that we can use so for example let's see uh, not the new system let's say the network networking right so you can put a networking right right so how can we define the term called say i'll use the list of definitions say definition list BL, right so then i close the definition list BL. so inside the dl i can have say definition term the first name is called say network right so i close the definition term and then here we can define so data definition say i can say uh, computer or a network is something like that, right? Network is a collection of uh, computer related devices, blah, 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 right? Then I close this data definition. So this is the first term, right? And then next term, data definition, definition term. Let's say the protocol, what is protocol, right? Sir? Yes. I typing something? Yes. Can Yes, sir. I, yes. I only yes. see the PPT, sir. Your presentation is only visible for me. Right now? Um, is it okay? Can you see this? Uh, uh, yes, sir. I can is see Is it that. okay? Yeah, yes, sir. Thank you. Okay. Okay, sorry for inconvenience. So, uh, so this is how we insert it, right? So, uh, we can have a definition list. So, inside the definition list, we can have a several definition term data definition, right? So this is the first definition term, network. So inside the data definition term, we can define the uh, first definition. And then we can insert another term, right? So protocol. So now we can insert the uh, definition for protocol, right? So you know, uh, uh, protocol is uh, say a set of rules. Protocol, say, uh, protocol is set of Close something like this, right? And then close the uh, definition, data definition. Then I save this. So this is the third file. So I'll just use, or oh, just you can close this and then open this uh, file, okay? Like this. So here, now you can see. So this is the heading. So this is the uh, definition list, list of terms. So th this is the first term, network. So this is the definition. This is the second term, so this is the definition. Likewise, you can go by one, uh, one by one. So you can go one by one. So first of all, you can set the definition term and then data definition, right? Have you got it? Yes, sir. Okay, then, uh, so that's about the three list, right? Ordered list, unordered list, and the uh, definition list, right? Okay, uh, next one is uh, HTML colors, right? So how can you use, uh, how can you use HTML colors in our web page, right? So as you know, there are three basic colors, right? So red, green, and blue, right? So uh, actually HTML uh, RGB value, you call uh, RGB, red, green, and blue. 
peptide simply we call rgb so in html rgb color values can be specified using the following formula right so uh, so this is the formula so each color can be represented using the value between 0 to 255 actually this value represent the intensity of the color right so for example if it is a red so intensity is maximum intensity is 255 so minimum intensity is zero right so which means none right so again the rgb value can be specified using the hexadecimal value so if you want you can use the decimal value as well as the hexadecimal values right so you know uh, hexadecimal number system i think you know this right hexadecimal number system number system which is based uh, 16 do you know that have you all have you all studied the hexadecimal number system yes or no uh, i just know the name sir what about others hexadecimal number system okay <clears throat> okay uh I'll explain uh, briefly, right? So you know the decimal number system, right? In decimal number system, we have uh, values. We call these are the positional values, uh, 10 to the power. So uh, starting from 10 to the power zero, the next one is 10 to the power one, uh, next one is 10 to the power two, likewise, right? So you know these things, right? So 10 to the power zero means one, 10 to the power one means 10, right? So 10 to the power two means hundreds. So you may study this uh, in grade seven or eight, right? So this is thousand, right? So if you take say four thousand five hundred sixty-eight, right? So here eight means number of ones, six means number of tens. So this is sixty. So this is eight. So five means number of hundred, which is five hundred, no? Right? So here uh, four means four thousand. That is a uh, uh, number of thousands. So 4,000 plus 500 plus 60 plus 8. That's how 4,568 compost. Is it okay? Yes, sir. Yeah. So in hexadecimal number system, in hexadecimal number system, uh, the positional value of the rightmost value is 16 to the power 0. In here, the decimal, uh, what you call the floating point as well, right? So, and then next one is 16 to the power 1. Next one is 16 to the power 2, likewise. Right? So, here positional value is 1. 16 to the power 0 is 1. 16 to the power 1 means 16. 16 to the power 2 means 256. Right? Okay. So, if you want to represent 100 in hexadecimal number system, how can you represent? What I want? I want to represent 100. How can I represent 100, the value 100 in hexadecimal number system? Any idea? Yes or no? Yeah. Okay, let me know. So what are the digits? What are the digits that we have in uh, decimal number system? What are the digits that we can use in hexadecimal number system? What are the digits that we can use in hexadecimal that we have in a uh, decimal number system? Yes. Uh, zero to nine, sir. Yeah, zero to nine. Zero, one, two, three, up to nine. Right. Likewise, what are the digits that we can use in hexadecimal number system? Uh, zero to nine and A, B, C, D. Yeah, zero D. to nine. Zero to nine. That is the usual, right? And then 10 represent by A. A. 11 represent by B. 12 represent by C. 13 represent by D. Right? 14 represent by E. 15 represent by F. Right? So these are the digits, or we call these are the symbols that we can use in hexadecimal number system. Right. So if I put so uh, forget about this hundred. So forget about this hundred. If I put say uh, here uh, a here b. So what are, what is the value 
represented by hexadecimal number system so what is the relevant value in decimal number system what is the corresponding value so this is the uh, uh, value right a b so this is in hexadecimal number system what is the corresponding decimal value any idea what is the corresponding decimal value to this uh, particular representation yes so so uh, uh, follow ict as a subject yes what is the value ab in hex hexadecimal number system what is the value this is very easy so yeah one yeah pcy001 your answer is okay correct what about others can you send me the what is the answer for a b in hexadecimal number system the corresponding value to a b 16 corresponding decimal value yes yeah five answers most of them are correct what about others yeah okay actually in this in this position actually a means value is 10 actually a is 10 a represent 10 b represent 11 so here positional value is 1 positional value is 1 like in here here positional value is 1 1 into 8 means 8 here positional value is 10 10 into 6 means 60 here positional value is 6 100 100 into 5 means 500 right so here positional value is 1 1 into 11 means the actual decimal value is 11 plus here positional value is 16 positional value is 16 16 into a means a represent 10 16 into 10 means 160 which means so this is represent 171 yeah some of them are uh, most of the you correct right 171 then my question is how can we represent uh, so this is 171 how can we represent uh, say 100 in decimal within the hexadecimal number system how can we represent or oh, we usually we call convert this 100 in decimal to hexadecimal number system yeah how can we represent yes how can we convert 100 into hexadecimal number system yeah again there are a number of ways right so uh, easiest way is uh, here uh, we now we know uh, so we don't need the, the this particular position so this position represents say 256 so 100 is less than 256 so then we don't need this particular digit or this particular position so we need only two positions so this position represent so this position uh, uh, represents 16 to the power 1 16 right so here we can have a b c d e f up to f right so in 100 so how many portions how many 16 portion is in the 100 so for example if you divide 100 by 16 how many portions 100 divided by 16 how many portions yes 100 divided by 16 yeah we have 6 6 because 6 into 16 means 6 into 10 means 60 uh, 36 96 right so if you take uh, here in value 16 if you say 6 in here 6 mean Uh, 16 into 6 which is 16 into 6 which is 96 equal 96 now what is the remainder remainder is 4 so here we can put 4 because here position value is 1 then 1 into 4 means 4 16 into 6 means 96 96 plus 6 4 means 100 so that's how we convert 100 into uh hexadecimal value or oh, there is another way right so we can divide the 100 by 16 right so 
uh, six portion, the remainder is four, right? So this is six, right? So <clears throat> likewise, easily you can do this, right? So remainder is four, right? So this can be uh, divided by right? 16. So if you divide six, 16 by six, no value, remainder is six. Six, four. In hexadecimal number system, we can say six, four. So which is equal to 100 in decimal. Right, so that's how we convert uh, decimal to the, uh, the hexadecimal and uh, hexadecimal to uh, decimal. Is it clear? Okay. Did you understand? Yes, sir. Okay, so uh, actually this is not uh, required for the web yeah. development, yes, right? Sir. So this is the concept. Right, so this is the concept. So we can represent this uh, here and uh, now here. So first two represent R value in hexadecimal. Next two digit represent green value in hexadecimal. Next one is B. So if you say FF in hexadecimal number system, you say FF. So what is the relevant decimal value? If you say FF hexadecimal, what is the decimal value? If it is zero, zero in hexadecimal, that is zero. If you say FF in hexadecimal number system, what is the relevant corresponding decimal value? Yes. If you say FF in hexadecimal number system, what is the corresponding decimal value? Yeah. Yes. What about others? If you say FF, what is the corresponding decimal value? Yes, yeah. Most of them, most of you are correct, right? FF means, so here if, if you say F, F, so this is 16 to the power 0, which is 1. So this is 16 to the power 1, which is 16, right? So here F means 15. Here F means 15. Right, so 15 into 1 means 15, right? 15 into 16 means 240. 240. So 240 plus 15 means 255. Is it okay? So if you take a two digit in hexadecimal number system, so this is the maximum value that we can represent using hexadecimal number system, right? So if you have two digits in hexadecimal number system, the maximum decimal value that we can represent is 255. Have you got it? Is it okay? Yes, sir. So that's about the uh, hexadecimal number system, right? Okay, so that's what uh, we discuss in here. So first two digit represent R, the red value, next two digit green, next two digit blue, right? So those are hexadecimal value between zero to FF, right? So here, so if you say FF four zeros, so which is displayed red, right? So because red is set to the highest value FF, and the others are set to lowest. So that means, so this is the representation of red. So if you say 0, 0, FF, 0, 0, so what is that value? Yes. If you say, uh, say now we know FF, four zeros, which represent red value, right? If you say 0, 0, FF, so what is this value? And then if you said 0, 0, 0, 0, FF, what is this value? So this is red because maximum intensity of red. So what is this? This one, 0, 0, FF, 0, 0. What is that? Yeah, green. So this is green, right? So this is the maximum of green intensity. So this one, last one, four zeros, FF. What is that value? Yeah, that is blue because this is the maximum of blue value, right? Okay, 
uh, yeah, actually in here I have this uh, number system explanations, right? So uh, if you say uh, decimal number system in here, uh, we have zero to nine, but if it is hexadecimal number system, we have zero to F, A represent 10, B represent 11, C represent 12, likewise, right? So if you take uh, positional values, right? So uh, lowest one is zero, 16 to power zero, which is one. Next one is 16 to the power one, which is 16. Then the minimum value that we can represent using hexadecimal number system is zero, zero, which is zero into one, zero, zero into 16, zero, then all to the zero, right? So this is the minimum representation on of hexadecimal number system, right? So usually we call hex 16. So maximum value that we can represent using hexadecimal number system is FF because this is the maximum digit that we have. This is the maximum value that we can represent through a one particular digit in hexadecimal number system, which is F, the value is 15. So here FF, so here position value is one, then one into 15 means 15, 16, uh, is the position value of next position. So here the digit represents 15. 16 into 15 means 240. 240 plus 15 means 255. So this is the maximum value that we can represent using hexadecimal number system, right? FF, right? Okay. Have you got it? Yes, sir. Okay. Then, so this is the color code. So if you say FF, four zeros, that is red. So if you say FFFF, that is the combination of RG, which is yellow. And then FF, so the zero, zero, FF, zero, zero means the green, maximum intensity. And then zero, zero, FFFF, that is a combination of green and blue, which is blue, not the exact blue, right? So some kind of uh, light blue. And then blue, maximum intensity of blue. Right. Okay. So uh, let's see how to apply this color codes to the our web page. Right. Okay. Uh, okay. Then I use the same web page. Right. So here we can apply color for the background color of the uh, body section. Let's say uh, there's a bit called say PG color. So if you want to, you can just write say red. And save this web pressure. So this is the uh, background color red. So if you want to, you can write say yellow. All right, like this, we can represent the, uh, we can set the background color, let's say blue, All right? So similarly, we can represent the color, uh, we can set the color using hexadecimal number system. So hexadecimal starting from hash, say, Red. Red means FF. So it doesn't matter. You can use the lowercase letters as well. FF and the four zeros. Right. Save this and refresh. So this is red. Right. FF four zeros. So if you want, you can say zero zero FF zero zero, which is RG green. Right. And then next one is say zero 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 FF blue. Likewise, we can set the colors using RGB color code. So not only uh, FF0, so just we can say CC00 FF. So some kind of combination of red and uh, blue, something like this, right? So we can set the colors using RGB color codes, right? Have you got it? You do understand? Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah, next one is HTML comment. Actually, comments means actually comments are the uh, those are not displayed by the web browser. So when uh, the web browser render the web page, right? So just they ignore the comments, right? So they can help document in your HTML uh, coding, right? So with the comments, we can place some notification and the reminders, right? Some kind of reminders in your uh, in our HTML source code, right? So actually, the uh, we can add the comments to our source code by using the parallel signals syntax. So, so this is the syntax. So we can use the anchor backer and exclamation, and then two dash, and you can put your comment and two dash close the uh, bracket, right? So likewise, we can put the comment, right? So for example, in here, 
So this is my web page, right? So, so this is here we set the background color. So I just put the comment like this. If you put say, uh, set uh, background color and save this and then refresh this. Now you can see that text also appeared in web page, but we can add this one as a comment, right? So how can we add the comment? Uh, say uh, anchor bracket and exclamation two dash. And at the end of the comment, we can add two dash and close the record. Save this and refresh. Now we can see this text is not appeared in my web page, right? So this is how we insert comment, right? So this will be uh, 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 useful to uh, uh, what you call uh, uh, put some notes and reminders, so notifications. So those situations, this comment is useful, right? Okay, so that's about the HTML comments. So this is how we do the HTML comments, right? So we can add a comments to as we wish, right? Okay, and the next one is uh, text and text formatting, right? So if you want to format our text, right? So we can use the tag called font. So if you want to font formatting, if you want to format our font, right? So we can add this font formatting or the font tag in our HTML coding right okay so let's see how to uh, add this uh, how to use this font formatting in our html source code right so in font tag so this is a uh, very uh, useful tag to control say font color font type size all those things right so let's see how to use this font tag right so in here Right, so in here, uh, if you use uh, say uh, say particular font like this, so I use the same source code, right? So this is my web page, so this is the source code, right? So uh, say computer networking, uh, yeah, I just uh, use save this one as say uh, text formatting, text formatting dot html. Right, just I remove this, right? Okay, then uh, you open this uh, source code, text formatting. Sorry, next one. This one. So this is my source code. Yeah, I just remove this, save and refresh. Okay, so now I remove this uh, background color. Okay, so this is text formatting, right? Okay, so I use the tag called font, font, right? So then at the same time, I close the font tag, right? So here, let's say a uh, computer networking, say uh, first one is say call, uh, say types of network. Right, type of network. So, if you save this now, this is a plain text. So, if you want, we can format this, right? So, we can have say uh, font type or just a, a type called say font face, right? So, here we can set the font type, say Arial, right? So this is font type area. So, or we can have another font type, say uh, the other one like this, right? So, and the next one is say, for, say color, right? So let's say, say color is, if you want, you can use the hexadecimal color codes, right? Like this, save this, right? So this is the font color, right? Color type and the size, we can use the, all those things, right? So font type, color and size, size can be uh, defined by the pixels, right? Okay, so that's how uh, that's one particular thing, and then uh, there's a <clears throat> there are some other tags as well, right? So uh, there is a tag called bold tag, italic. So if you want, you can use the underline, superscript, right? So let's take one by one. Uh, actually, we can practice these things at the practical class, right? So we can use say bold tag, right? So uh, 
uh, net token type, say I use a uh, bus network, all right? So I use this uh, within the bold tag, right? Just tag called B, right? See, bus network, all, right? So if you want, I can use uh, uh, italic tag. So between open and close italic tag, let's say star. Like this, so this is italic, right? So actually, uh, at the end of the uh, each tag or the beginning of the tag, we can have say break tag, right? So that uh, it will be displayed in a new line, like this, right? So you say PR, italic, and then underline, right? Say uh. Hybrid, right? Underline, right? So this is underline, right? So underline, italic, bold, and superscript and sub subscript, right? So if you want to say H two O, so here the two is subscript, right? So you can use subscript. Right, so you know what is subscript, right? Like this, H two O two is subscript, right? So, uh, before the line, we can use the break tag, right? Like this, H two O is subscript, right? So similarly, we can use the uh, superscript. Let's say X square, X square square is a super. like this, right? So subscript, superscript, so we can use the underline and there are some more uh, font formatting, right? So you can use the block code, uh, delete, right? So you can strike to the uh, text, right? So likewise, there are a number of font formatting, right? So you can use this, right? Okay, did you understand that? Yes or no? Have you got the things? Okay. Yes, sir. That's about text formatting, right? And the next one is abbreviations. What is meant by abbreviation? Hmm? Abbreviation, element actually, uh, it defines the abbreviation for an uh, acronyms, right? So, for example, it, it will be uh, useful. So, for example, so assume uh, there is a uh, say paragraph like this. So, so I use the same uh, web page, right? So uh, there is a paragraph say uh, like this, right? So uh, uh, yeah, in your faculty, right? So I'll take uh, say uh, some description about your faculty, right? Say I'll say faculty of say ages is uh, started when hmm? started on when. 2007, I think. 2007? So you have, to, you have to know the record history, right? Okay, uh, let's say 2000, yeah. 2007, sir. So you can go to the... Right? Sorry. W, w dot right so you can go to the your faculty website and then find the uh, find details right okay so when start in 2007 then because uh, yeah 2005 yeah, 6 in 2006 uh, there was a wedge right 05 wedge i think that it start from 05 this parallel to our, yeah. Anyway, so here, those who uh, assume uh, reading this, right? So once they don't know uh, what is E, it is, right? So we can have a definition, we can have a, what you call abbreviation for. So this is the abbreviation, right? So we can have a, uh, what you call that <coughs> acronym for this E, it is. So how can we set that, right? So this is how we set it, right? So we can have abbreviation title. Right, 
and then inside the title we can set the value right and then we can close the abbreviation right so that uh, uh, when you click on here it will be displayed right abbreviation right so we can so this is how we set this right faculty of so here we set abbreviation abbreviation right and then set the uh, value value actually value is uh, uh, attribute called title right so inside the title we can say uh, light uh, health sciences right and close this right so if you want you can set say capitalize each word right right Allied health sciences so this is the abbreviation then i close the abbreviation right Cause the abbreviation in is started on something like that, right? So when you uh, read this, so when you uh, click on here, now you can see. Can you see that? It says, this is the description, allied health science. Is it okay? Have you got it? Okay, sir. Yeah. So this is how you said the abbreviation. Right, so this is useful. So uh, for uh, text formatting, right? Okay, so that's about the basic formatting of the uh, text, right? Okay, then uh, we need some break. Do you want? Do you want a break? Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, let's take five minute break. Uh, I just I uh, shall I uh, end this meeting and restart again? Is it okay? Because uh, I want to take this uh, uh, this uh, recording, right? So, okay, then I'll stop this, right? And then uh, I end this meeting and restart again, right? Within that uh, five minutes, right?